Now let's start with the camera of Pixel 7 Pro because you're buying a Pixel for its camera. So Pixel 7 Pro features triple camera modules, a main module, an ultra wide module, a 5x periscope zoom module, and on the front there is a selfie module with no autofocus. That is the biggest issue with the Pixel 7 Pro's camera system. The front facing camera module does not feature autofocus. Besides that, the camera is very, very good. It's excellent. Now Pixel 7 Pro recently got a new camera update that includes DCI-P3 color space and Ultra HDR processing. Now here's what Google Pixel says about these new features. Rich color in photos, use display p3 color format instead of srgb for richer and more vibrant colors and now the ultra hdr ultra hdr brightens the lightest parts of the image and shows more vibrant colors than default hdr processing now photos from pixel 7 pro after the update are very pixel like photos photos are great and if you pixel peep, you can see improvements in clarity and contrast. The sharpness of photos and the overall contrast is improved. You can see better white balance. You can see better color management. And the skin tones are awesome. Just like before the update, skin tones have not changed. And also now the photos come with higher dynamic range and DCI-P3 color space. That is more vibrant photos with higher dynamic range and better colors and overall better white balance and sharpness. Photos from Pixel 7 Pro are great. Photos are excellent. Now moving on to the display. So Pixel 7 Pro features a 6.7 Quad HD Plus 120Hz LTPO Super AMOLED Samsung flagship display. It is a great display. Color accuracy is on point. Sharpness is on point. And this display can go up to 1000 nits of max brightness and 1500 nits of peak brightness. The display is very, very good. But right now, Pixel 8 features a better display than Pixel 7 Pro, as it can go to 1000 nits of max brightness. Now moving on to the performance and battery life. Now Pixel 7 Pro features Tensor G2 processor. And it is not super powerful processor like Snapdragon Gen 1 on the S23 Ultra or the A16 Pro chip on the iPhone 15. And the battery life on Pixel 7 Pro is also fine. It is good. It's not great. It is around 7 to 7.5 hours of screen time max and that is pretty good but it's not like 9-10 hours of screen time like on the S23 Ultra or the iPhone 15 Pro Max. It's not that good but it's fine. And yeah, that is Pixel 7 Pro for 2024. Right now you can get it for $399 for that price. This is an amazing deal.